offset. <laughs> oh, that's loud. All right. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Blu-ray Tuesday. I'm a little hungover still from last night's festivities during Barely Functional Gamers, the BFG. Um, follow them on Instagram. But yeah, we had isolation and we play like horror games and drink and it's a, it's a whole thing. But uh, on Twitch, it's really fun. But yeah, I played this weird ass game last night. I was like this bombshell Jessica Rabbit character killing dwarves in the sewer. I don't know how that even happened or how the bitch even got down there, but it was kind of cool. It was a hard game. I don't think I got past level one, but uh, yeah, it was an experience. I had a couple drinks and it made it all fun. But yeah, BFG, Barely Functional Gamers. Yeah, it was fun. Um, but yeah, so this week's Blu-ray Tuesday was pretty light. So um, I want to talk about stuff that I got this week that was supposed to be here last week. Starting off with The Vigil. This is one of the ones I think I mentioned last week's episode that I ordered it, but I never received the shit. But I did finally receive the film, and uh, this is one I definitely want to check out. It's from IFC Midnight, and Green Factory put it out. Um, I don't know much about this, but I know when I posted, a lot of people said that they were like super into this movie and they hella liked it. Um, I think it came out in 2019 and finally got its Blu-ray release uh, as of last week. But yeah, this is a, I don't know, I started reading this before we started shooting and I was like, hey, what is this about? But I guess it's a, oh, look at that, see the slipcover. But yeah, what is this about? So basically this is a Jewish horror film about a guy who has to like, I guess this is like a religious thing, but he has to sit and like watch a dead body overnight. Like, who does that? So, I don't know. The cover kind of shows you that he's sitting there with a candle and he's like, there's a dead body. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't want that job. That's kind of weird, right? It says it's genuinely creepy. By that alone, it creeps me out. Like, I don't want to sit with a dead body. That's weird. I don't know if that thing comes to life. But yeah, maybe that's what it's about. Supernatural horror, maybe? But I don't know. If you guys seen this, let me know what you thought. But that's the vigil. Um, only bonus features this has is a, um, a trailer, which kind of sucks. But at least it has a slipcover. All right. Um, next up is uh, Dementia 13. This dropped last week as well, and it was also late. I think I got this from Best Buy um, in the same package. Speaking of Best Buy, I don't know if you guys shop in the stores anymore, Best Buy and or Target, but I went to Target today to see what the new releases were because they had like some odd and like, you know, straight to DVD, straight to Blu-ray films that dropped today, but, and I just wanted to check them out, and there was nothing out. Like, lately, Best Buys and Targets aren't putting out new releases. And my Best Buy, like, used to have like four rows. Now it just has one, and they barely even have the new releases out, so it's kind of weird. Um, they're like slowly but surely like phasing this out, which sucks, so. I've been ordering all my things, and that's why I'm stuck with the late stuff. But Dementia 13, I, I don't, I've never seen this. This was a complete blind buy for me. Um, this is part of the Vestron uh, series, collector series Blu-rays. I think I talked about a few of these on the previous episodes. But this is number 22 in their series. And I like to get these because uh, they all look cool on your on your shelf, <laughs> all numbered and everything. And uh, this sounds pretty cool. It's like an axe-wielding slasher. I think this came out in the 80s. No, whoa. Huh. 1963 that's a little older yeah 1963 this film was uh released and it's digitally remastered i said i butchered that but <laughs> remastered on blu-ray and it um it has a, a introduction from francis ford coppola if i said that right and it has audio commentary and a prolude prolude but yeah the director's cut by the way but yeah i like the slip cover it's really cool yeah dementia 13 Alrighty, and the main release for this week is The Forever Purge. Um, I'm not a big fan of these Purge movies. This is the fifth one in the series, and there's two seasons of a TV show that I heard is like better than the movies. Uh, I tried to get into it and just couldn't, saw two episodes, but one day I'll finish it. But yeah, the, the, this is The Forever Purge. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I went into this like not expecting anything, and I actually hell like this movie. Um, I connected to the characters, that the characters were pretty cool. You actually like cared for them. Um, it does have like the whole racist vibe, but I think all of them have that. Uh, you know and the ones that need to get it get it so that's kind of cool and it's kind of cool to see when this purge 24 hour thing ends what happens if people take it into their hands to continue this so it's like never ending so uh i'd highly recommend this this is like the biggest release of this week uh the forever purge i did get the 4k release the previous films the first four and the prequel the first three in the prequel they got best buy exclusive steelbooks and i was bummed that this one didn't get it so you know when my shelf is gonna look you know inconsistent because I have all the others on Steelbook and this one but it has a cool slipcover but yeah the forever purge it has some special features as well um, deleted scenes an alternate storyboard opening so I guess it's a different alternate opening but they have it in storyboard form and there's some featurettes and something about wardrobe creeptastic wardrobe I guess all the costumes 
I don't know, they always had some cool, creepy looking costumes and masks. I was at the Spirit Halloween recently and there was like a whole section for The Purge and Halloween City. Um, check those out. But yeah, there's a whole like section for The Purge. There's like t-shirts and like masks and stuff. But yeah, um, I'd recommend this. All right, so that was it for the main Blu-rays of the week. Yeah, so I do wanna talk about this week's horror pack. If you're not familiar with this, I talked about this on another previous episode as well. But uh, Horror Pack is a subscription-based uh, Blu-ray or DVD um, package that you get every month. It's $25 and they just send you like a blind box of movies. It's usually an exclusive film and three random, you know, movies that fit the month or so. Like if it's like a holiday or so, they have to like Thanksgiving horror or like Christmas, Halloween. But yeah, this is September's, so let's get started with that. The first one from this package is Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell. I already own this film. This is Tremor 6. This is part of the straight to DVD, uh, straight to Blu-ray features um, in the long line of the Tremor series. I haven't seen this one yet. I do have it for collector's purposes. They are rebooting this series, I believe. Um, it does have Jamie Kennedy from the Scream series. Scream movies, not the TV show, but you know, Jamie Kennedy played Randy. Um, yeah, that's all I know about this. Michael Gross is the other lead actor in this. And yeah, creature feature. That's the first one for this week, uh, this month, I'm sorry. The, the next one up in the package is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And um, I own this movie like five times already. Um, so this is another one. This has a cool like, I don't know if this is pop art, like card for this. This is becoming very popular. Like I mentioned Spirit Store earlier, they have a whole section for Killer Clowns. The masks, t-shirts, uh, even the cool little cotton candy gun that I've been trying to find. It, like makes noises, it's really cool. I want that. So if you find it, let me know. But anyways, yeah, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, classic film from the 80s. Um, yeah, it's becoming more popular now. All right, so the next one up, uh, the third in this this month's horror pack is Wakewood. I actually don't own this one, and I don't think I've ever seen it. So from 2009, um, it's about, I guess, a girl who died in the family, and I guess the, the family gets to see her for like a day, I don't know, some supernatural thing, and the girl comes back. I don't know, but it looks kind of cool. I posted this earlier today and there's a few comments they said they really like this film. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, it actually has special features. Oh, well, deleted scenes in the trailer, I guess 2009. Um, I don't know if this is straight to DVD or not. I don't recognize any of these actors, but it's from Hammer. Hammer presents Wakewood. All right. And the final film in this month's horror pack is The Last Laugh. Um, this is the horror pack exclusive. It's about a, a comedian and I guess a comedian type of slasher. I don't know. He says he's a stand-up comedian on the verge of his break out success. Um, and the night of his biggest show, there's a mass killer, I guess, killing everybody. That sounds hella cool to me. I love slashers. I don't know if this is a whodunit. The mask is kind of cool. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Um, if you've seen this one, I think this hit VOD last year, maybe. I do, I've seen this cover somewhere but I don't think I'll check this one out. But The Last Laugh is a comedian horror film, probably horror comedy. Um, the quality looks okay from the back here. It has a cool little blade there, pretty bare bones. Um, doesn't look like there's any bonus features, but yeah, horror pack exclusive, The Last Laugh. All right, and I do wanna correct last week. I thought <laughs> that last week was the last week of October, but it's actually this week and October starts Friday. So yeah, I want to correct that. Um, but yes, I hope you guys are ready for spooky season. Next week is October 5th releases. It's the first week of October and they're releasing the 4K re-releases of Halloween. I think the first five. Uh, Scream Factory is. That's probably like the biggest release that week. There's some other stuff that's coming out. I think Elvira, um, Haunted Houses, Haunted Hills, something like that. But yeah, there's a lot of cool releases next week. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, until next week. Bye.